over top Rogue One Lego sets that should be made. And for those who have not seen the film, this will contain spoilers. So if you don't want it spoiled for you, please do not watch the video. So let's begin. First on the list is the Zeta class Imperial cargo shuttle, or Rogue One as it is dubbed in the film. This is definitely going to become a Lego set in the future. I, I have no doubt about it. It may take a few years, but it will definitely become a Lego set. It, it just plays such a crucial role in the film, and it, it will become a Lego set. This is just an example of how it would possibly look if Lego were to make this a set. Obviously, there would be a lot less tile pieces on the official Lego set, but this is still a good example. So here's a possible cockpit look that we will see if the Lego were to make this set. Obviously, the real Lego one will have a scaled down cockpit because most Lego sets will not fit more than two minifigures in the cockpit, unless it's a UCS set, which in this case it will not be a UCS set. But it, it's still a good preview of what will come, probably. And a key feature of this set would be able to detach and unload and, and load the cargo to the ca cargo shuttle. So possible minifigures are Jin Erso, Kessin Andor, and two Rebel Strike Team minifigures. Next on the list is a Rebel Hangar. Now I know we have a rumor that we are getting this in the summer wave in 2017. But at the time I made this video, it is simply a rumor, so I decided to include it anyways. The Rebel Hangar will be one of the larger LEGO sets of the wave, and it would hopefully include a space for a starfighter of some kind to fit the hangar scene of Rogue One. Not only would it include a hangar, it would also include some type of command center to allow the recreation of the Rogue One command briefing. This set would be very similar to the home on, on the Mon Calamari Cruiser set we got a while back. As you can see, it would include a hangar attached to a command center, but this time it will be recreating the base on Yavin 4. This set will be great to recreate the Rogue One scenes and the, to end the Episode 4 scenes. We've been wanting this set for a long time, so I do hope LEGO makes this set. Some possible minifigures are Jin Erso. Mon Mothma, and the Bail Organa, which we have never gotten an official Lego uh, Bail Organa yet. This one in the bottom right is just a custom Bail Organa, but we still have yet to get an official Lego one. And some Rebel Troopers, maybe a few pilots as well. Moving on, on the list, we have the Tantive 4. This set was released as a UCS set by Lego. But this time it will be released as a regular scale down set. This ship could be seen fleeing from Darth Vader in the film and is, is, is an iconic ship from episode 4. And not really many people have this in their collection. I personally don't have it, and, but I would really like to have it. This scale down version would be very similar to the Rebel Combat Frigate in terms of size and features hopefully. Some possible minifigures are Episode 4 Princess Leia, Captain Antilles, whom we have never really gotten a figure from except from the UCS Tant of 4. And he's really he's a he's a sought after minifigure because everybody wants to recreate that scene where Darth Vader choked him to death. And then of course Darth Vader himself and some rebel scout troopers. That way you could recreate the scene where Darth Vader just completely destroys all of them. Next on the list we have the Hammerhead Corvette. This ship played a role in the battle over Scarif. It pushed a Star Destroyer into another Star Destroyer. Although it's not the largest role, it is still a cool ship to add to any one Star, Star Wars collection. If they... And hey, if they were gonna make a quad, if they're gonna make a quad jumper this summer, which literally got 10 seconds screen time, and they're making a Lego set out of it, then they could possibly make a Lego set out of this one as well. Here's just an example of what it could look like in Lego. This set was also featured in Star Wars Rebels, so you also have that connection as well. 
Some possible minifigures are the Hammerhead Corvette Captain, a Rebel Officer, a Stormtrooper, and an Imperial Officer. Moving along, we have the AT-ACT. This was an iconic vehicle in the film. Although we did get an AT-AT back in 2014, it is not out of the question to have a re-release of a set that early. Example would be Poe's X-Wing and the Resistance X-Wing. They're literally the same exact set except different color schemes. And they were within a year of each other. This set would look very similar to the 2014 AT-AT, except it would have a modded middle and the modded blasters. Some possible minifigures are the AT-ACT pilot, which I bet is the same pilot figure that we got in the AT-AT. Two shore troopers, a rebel trooper, and Jin Erso. I know I've put it Jin Erso in quite a lot of sets, but she's the main character in the film. So we kind of want her in all these sets together. Last but not least, a possible Scarif battle pack. We did just get an Imperial and Rebel battle pack this wave, and there's rumored to be more battle packs this summer, but this battle pack would be slightly different. It would include two Shore Troopers and two Rebel Troopers. It would be a great way to acquire such a great rig minifigure, the, Rebel sh the Shore Trooper. That is one of my favorite minifigures ever, and I would really like to acquire more through cheaper methods than what we can now. And with that, our list has concluded. If you guys enjoyed this list, please leave a like, and be sure to subscribe for more, as I will be posting my top UCS sets that should be made very shortly. Have a great day, everybody, and may the Force be with you.